Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Cyrus Wolf, and welcome back to LEGO Arts. So, in our last episode, we did a showcase on the Moon Knight from the MCU. And for this episode, we are doing a solo minifigure showcase okay, so on a game I haven't touched on in a while, and that is Doom Eternal. Eternal. Yes, as you can see, we have a new version of the Doom guy himself. And himself, and this was actually a figure that I wasn't planning on coming back to. Like, for a long time, I was really, really satisfied with, uh, with the previous Doom Slayer that I made, and I still have him. And I still have him, and he's still a solid figure. Uh, figure, but uh, I was re uh, but I was exploring a little while back on some of the, uh, on like one of the pages that I follow on on a three D printer artist by the name of Morphonauts, Morphonauts, which I'll include a link to his profile in the description below, and below. And he's been selling and selling like custom printed three D printed like action figures. And there's some Lego parts, including owning a custom kit on the Doom guy, Doom guy. And I saw it, and I really really liked it, and I decided, you know what? It's been a figure I haven't touched on in a while, and while it looks really really cool, I'd love. And I'd love to see if I could paint that up and really customize it. So I purchased one of his kits, one of his kits, and it was sort of on again, off again work on customizing this guy, and this guy, and getting some extra parts from Tominio, and from Tominio's kits, from the previous Doom Guy kits, and adding it onto this, and sort of incorporating it all together into a new version of the Doom Slayer, Doom Slayer. And overall, in the end, this looks really, really awesome, and I really love how it turned out. Turned out. So, as you guys know the drill, we're gonna take this minifigure, do a review, and explain the process, why we're route, and go from there. So without further ado, let's get the pedestal out and get the showcase on the road. All right, here we have a full display on the minifigure itself. And you can see this is really fully detailed. 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 And Morphonauts did a fantastic job at doing this. Doing this. So first get off out of the way. Anyway, as you can see here, he's got the double barrel shotgun. This is the same shotgun that I used for my previous Doom Slayer minifigure. It did, this kit did come with a crucible sword and the shotgun. Uh, gun, but I really liked Tominio's designs for it. As for it, so I wanted to keep that in for this one. So we'll go ahead and remove the shotgun since we already showed that off off in the previous showcase. Anyways, well, the previous Doom Slayer figure, not the last showcase. But anyways, with the full figure itself, we can really see the level of detailing Morpho really put into this guy, and he did an amazing, amazing job at it. Uh, at it. So the whole kit is actually 3D printed. 3D printed. Imprinted everything except the head underneath. I used an official Lego head underneath, but I'll show that in a bit. But everything is completely, completely 3D printed. And he printed. It did require a little bit of sanding, and uh, sanding with the legs to get the waist piece, waist piece to fit into the torso. But other than that, everything is completely printed and printed, and the articulation into it is really, really impressive. Which is a fantastic job, a sick job by Morphonauts, Morphonauts, and again, he did an amazing job at this. Yes. So, with the level of uh, detailing that went into it, into it, we could start from, like, top and go to all, all the way down. The helmet, again, um, it's pretty accurate to the game, and to the game itself, like, when you look at the Slayer, the Slayer, this is very accurate, accurate to Slayer's design, and, and a couple of changes that I did when it came to painting up with this figure, this figure compared to the previous one, is, here's one, is, if you look closely, and closely, hang on, if we can get a zoom, if you look closely at the helmets, you can see that at this time I included in the Slayer symbol onto it because I really wanted to add it in this time, which it came out very good. As the color swaps that I did with this, the base paint that I used is a different green, different green that looks much nicer than the previous greens that I did. It's an olive spray paint green, which looks really, really good. I also decided to go ahead with like gunmetal gray for some of the outlines, outlines on the helmet, on the helmet, and I did some and some light teal on and teal on the visor, which came out pretty good, and pretty good. Uh, the back of the helmet is roughly about the same, uh, same detailing that I did, which, and did, which, not much of really difference with there, and there on set, the previous minifigure that I did. Let's go ahead and put him back up, and back up, and we focus on that, we focus, thank you, thank you. Uh, for the rest of the figure, and the figure itself, uh, with some of the stuff that I did, and stuff, uh, but the base stuff that uh, Morphonauts did, this chest piece is completely separate on its own. So if we go ahead and remove the helmet, uh, the helmet, oh, okay. So the head is kind of stuck on uh, stuck on the figure, but if I put it on a regular minifigure, I can remove that off. But it's a basic black, is it just a regular black, uh, plain black minifigure. Uh, the paint underneath, I put it on like some black, uh, black, and this chest armor, this armor can actually be removed. So it's a separate piece. Every piece all together, which again, Morpho did an amazing job, and job at adding that in. The only things that he didn't add on, and uh, that he didn't add, which I actually added on my own, is the flamethrower, and thrower, the side blade, I blade, and the back ammo pack. Everything, and all of this was from an extra armor kit that I got. I got, uh, 
that I got from Tamino because I really wanted this to add on more to the Slayer, the Slayer like in-game accuracy, accuracy. But even without these extra little attachments, it's still an impressive figure. A figure again, he did an amazing job at it. Yeah, so underneath, you can see of like the extra detailing that still continues onto the figure. The arms are actually bulked up this time, on that this time, which look really really cool and cool. And he also added in and then the detailing on the armor gauntlets and gauntlets, which again look really impressive, really impressive. And articulation for this guy, for this guy is very smooth, very smooth. I think I had to do a little bit, uh, a little bit of uh, sanding and inside the sockets just to. And just to like remove the paint, but outside of that, the articulation on this is impressive, impressive, which is really really cool, very cool. And looking further on, we can see of like with the hands, the hands are also also like printed and uh, printed on. You can see like the knuckles, uh, knuckles, and each individual figure onto this guy. Even you can see like the thumb on the side uh, on the side of it, out of it, which looks really really impressive. It did require some force to put them into. And to put them into the figure, but once that was passed, it still looks amazing. It's amazing. It's like an extra mile into a uh, mileage into detailing, which is again really impressive. I'm gonna keep saying that as I go in through this video because again, this is such a fantastic, fantastic piece of work. It work. So go ahead and add this back on. Add this back on. Another thing we can look at is the legs. Is the legs? Legs completely 3D printed, and on the back you can kind of see. And kind of see there is like the classic Lego sockets. A socket to like stick onto it, onto it, but he can't really stick onto anything with the bottom boots all covered up. Covered up. The boots again, again, amazing detailing with this, and detailing with this. And I believe, yep, there is some articulation into it, into it, which is really good. And good. I can't remember if I had to do some standing onto this. I don't think I did for this one. Like everything, pretty much came out pretty well. All I did was just had to make sure the paint and the paint stayed on, on, and on, which it still looked pretty good. Very good, and a couple of the modifications that I added onto it with, and onto it with the flamethrower, the knife, and the back ammo pack, I added that in with pro and with procreate clay and clay, and then just light, and then just some light amount of glue, just to make sure that everything stayed in place, and in place, and in place. And again, aside aside from that, it's still amazing. The rest of the paintwork and work, I had to look at multiple screenshots, screenshots with different versions of the Slayer to get an overall idea idea the brown i did sort of my own mix with like gray and i think various dark browns to sort of like get this color and get this color in which looks very good very good i did cover some of these pieces with uh, some of these pieces with masking tape okay to try and see that if i painted these on these on would they look better without the base paint underneath and amazingly it still looks pretty good it looks pretty good like pretty solid Island. It was a little difficult on painting this shoulder in particular to make sure that not a lot of paint would get on top of this, uh, this. But I was able to get past that and still add more onto it, onto it. And this time I didn't actually give it a clear coat and clear coat. I felt that like everything thing works on pretty well. That I could just add this whole thing on without needing it. Uh, the height on this character he is actually much taller than expected. So if we get a plain minifigure. A minifigure and zoom out just a bit. You can kind of see of the height difference with him. If him, he's slightly taller than your average minifigure, which I think is a nice effect because the Doom, because the Doom guy, he's not a small dude. He's very intimidating and very large, very large. I think the armor makes him like seven feet tall, seven feet tall. So, and so really adds more onto the character. And for comparison, 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 we get and here we have the previous Doom Slayer that I made, I made from Tamedia's armor kit. It's, you can see a lot of difference between the two, the two, but I still think, I'll think, like, this is still a solid figure, a uh, figure. Both of them are very solid in their own special ways, special ways. Like, again, whenever I do these kind of videos, it's never always, like, always, like, oh, one's better than the other one. No, 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 no. Both of them are spectacular, spectacular. Like, both of them are works of art and really, really impressive, and impressive. And this is also, also sort of a good base because we can really see the difference and the difference that I took in with this one, again with this one, and I made this a while ago, and since then I've learned a couple of changes. One, never use clear, uh, use clear nail polish on figures; it never comes out right, right. And two, the green that I used for this guy is much better, much better than the other one. Again, not really saying which one's better than the other one. The other one, both of them are very, very good, very good. And either way, both of them are extremely solid figures, uh, figures, figures. And overall, with this guy. This guy, it was so much fun to do. Much fun to do. Like again, Doom Slayer wasn't a character that I thought about going back to because I was pretty satisfied with the figure beforehand. 
But looking at the final result of this, this was such a fun build to do. And there we go. That is going to do it for this episode of LEGO Arts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoyed this video. So to close it off, we'll have both the Slayer side by side. By side. And again, again, I don't really have a preference of which one is better. Both of them were super fun to make. And, to make. and so both Morphonauts and Tomedio did a fantastic job at making these guys. Making these guys. Both of them look super, super impressive. Impressive. And if you want to purchase your own Doom Slayer kit from either of these guys or from both, and both, I'll include links to both of their profiles in the description below. Go check them out, so show them some love, because they do amazing, amazing work. And Morphinauts has also been helping me, helping me prepare for the God of War Ragnarok showcase. Okay, so which if you haven't seen, haven't seen on my Instagram page, Instagram page, I commit, I reached out to him a while back about to see about and to see about commission some stuff and stuff for the showcase. So if I haven't seen those, you know, is it, you can check them out on my Instagram and to see what they're making. I'm super excited. Very excited to show it to you guys. And speaking of God of War Ragnarok, Ragnarok, I really, really, really want to get back to that showcase, showcase as soon as possible. But again, I'm gonna wait until after the game releases, or at the very least, the concept art book releases. So that way, I can get a better idea on how to make the characters, characters as best as possible, possible. But I am still gonna work my way up slowly, piece by piece. At least get the base bodies. I need to figure out what sort of paints that I need to use. Use how far into detailing I'm gonna have to go. I have to go, and then once I get a solid idea, solid idea, I'll finish them up and showcase them. Okay, so off to you guys. In the meantime, though, in time though, I do still have at least one more showcase already, already set up that I just need to film. Need to film. At first, I was gonna do the Star Wars, uh, the Star Wars showcase, okay, but I did get, uh, but I did manage to get one, uh, one minifigure kit that I really want to wait, want to wait for it to arrive. So it's so close. It's so so close, and uh, so close. Just need to do a little bit more work. Or work and with the recent Gotham Knights game that has come out, I have not played the game and I'm honestly debating on whether or not to do it. Not to do it, but it is giving me ideas to maybe go back and redo some of my Batman family minifigures. Minifigures, so we'll see where that goes in the future. But in the meantime, we'll just keep things going on at the pace as we are, and we are, and we'll just keep customizing. Customizing, amazing. So, if you want to see some of the other stuff that I've made. And I made like God of War, God of War, The Joy Become Human, Devil May Cry, all those other projects. You can check them out at my Lego Arts playlist. playlist. And consider subscribing to the channel because the more it grows, the more we'll be able to do more fun stuff and stuff and keep expanding and expanding and slowly grow on. on. And again, if you want to purchase either of these, either of these kits or or check out some of the other stuff that, that Tominio and Morphonauts have made, I'll include links to their websites and their profiles in the description below. And below. So go check them out and show them some love. And overall, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye-bye!